Hello everyone, this is Hina Shri from 92cloud.com. So today I am going to show you how you can synchronize your PyCharm with your GitHub account so that you don't have to go to the GitHub and upload manually your Python codes, whatever you are doing um, on PyCharm. I found it necessary because um, uh, I'm constantly, you know, uh, working around with something since I'm learning Python. I don't want to manually go to my GitHub account and save those files again and again. So I just want to, you know, write something new and I just want to share it over the GitHub. Um, the process is relatively easy. I'm going to show you how you can do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've already got this PyCharm uh, Community Edition 2016. Uh, I'm going to go to the settings and i'm going to find the plugins for the github and git uh, if you do not have those plugins installed already with your pycharm you have to go to install jetbrain plugin and uh, find something by name kit so this is a vcs integration it uh, helps uh, you know it it helps you to run your uh, um, git on your pycharm ide uh, you'll get an install button over here click on install once you've done that it will ask you to restart your PyCharm so that the plugin gets effect gets you know it gets reflected with your PyCharm so go ahead and do that it will just take uh, it will take few seconds of your time okay so I'm going to click here on okay because I've already got this github and git integration uh, so once you've restarted your PyCharm you go again to the settings and go to the version control now there are two things that you want to take a notice of first of all it's the github and second one is the git so i'm going to show you how you can um you know um set, do the settings of these two. First of all at the github um you have to um log into the github.com you have to give the login credentials of your github account uh over here so if you do not already have a github account please go ahead and do that and create one account i've got one um over here that says github.com hinashri so um i don't have many repositories over here i've just got a couple of them but i'm going to show you a new repository uh, which i will upload only with the help of pycharm i'll not come over here and do that but i'll do that with the pycharm itself so I'm going to go back and provide um, uh, the token over here. How you can provide the token? There are two ways to authenticate yourself um, uh, with, you know, on PyCharm. Uh, the first one is the password. This password is the password that you ha you are using on the GitHub account. Uh, and the another one is the token. I usually prefer the token method. I'm, uh, it's the same as what has been told here uh, on um www.jetrains.com and publishing a project on github so i'm i'm kind of using this same article so if you want to uh, follow this article you can do that i'm doing the same so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose token uh, if you select password it is going to ask you for the password every time you want to synchronize your codes on the github account uh, but for the first time if you if you do it with a token it's not going to ask you again and again but of course it will ask you for the first time so you can go ahead and create an api token uh, for the first timers this token will be blank uh, for me since i've already created it it is showing me something but i'm doing this again for you guys so i'm just going to provide the password which i have for the github account and i'm going to click on ok so first time it is going to ask me what is my email id um, and what is my password at my github account i'm going to create login um it will take few seconds and yes so you can see the new token a new token has been generated you can always test it whether the connection is successful or not it says yes connection is successful click on ok so here you are good to go you have integrated your pycharm with your github account but uh, another thing that you need is a git.exe so that if you want to push your um uh, git pro your projects um, if you want to push your projects to the github you need a git.exe I am using Windows 64-bit um, operating system, so I'll have to download Git. 
I'll have to download git and I'll have to provide the path of that git.exe which is residing under the bin folder over here. So if you do not have that git installed in your um, operating system, you can find that out over here, um, git um, sem.com and you can download your git from here. Once you've downloaded the git, uh, install the git, uh, keep all the default settings or make changes however you need and uh, provide that exe path over here you can browse it from here and you know you can you can point it to the right directory and point to git.exe okay once you've done that always test your connection whether it is successful or not so it says yes oops um okay so it says that yes git has been executed successfully click on okay so yeah you're done now you can click on apply and okay and uh, yeah then you are good to go say for example if you've not given a right path of git.exe it is going to pop up an error stating that there is you know um some kind of error like it, it, there is an error and you cannot synchronize um something like that so uh, make sure that you've got the right path to the git.exe because otherwise um this is going to simply say git.exe and you know if the right path is not there Say I'm going to do that and I'm going to click on OK. It's going to, at one point of time, it is going to throw me an error stating that, you know, there is not right path which is available. So um, when I try to go to the VCS and when I want to go to the checkout version control, I'll go to the GitHub and uh, yeah, I need to find out a right um, path. I'm just going to find something that I want to clone. So I'm going to, yes, I'm going to go to the Python examples. So what I want to do is now, since I've already um, um, synchronized uh, PyCharm with uh, GitHub, I can clone the Python projects or any other projects which are available on the GitHub uh, to my PyCharm directly. And I don't have to, you know, manually download or manually clone them. I can do that directly on the PyCharm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this link and i'm going to put it over here so that you know it gives me the right path uh okay it already exists so i'm going to call it as git repository or no this is not going to be the right one i think i already have this one i'm going to just select in an, another one uh let's say pi side yes let's try this one so yeah okay so this one works um and i'm going to test it and see whether this is right or not okay so this is successful so now i can clone it successfully it will take few seconds depending upon how many files that are available on the github repository so you can see over here it is trying to clone so whatever files which were available under this uh, pi site um i'll have them over here so you can see i'll click on okay and i'll open it in the current window and voila so you you can see over here you know i've got these um all of these uh, examples animations all of the files like the same uh, folder structure and everything so it, it, it is very handy for me um, if you if I want to work on any Python project and I like that project I can just really you know clone it over here and I can start working now what I want to do is um, I want to push my um, project onto the github account um, as you can already see uh, over here under my repository I've got two repositories and I want to create an another repository for my Python codes that I that I'm working on so how I can do that so I'll go to a new project and uh, I will call it as let's say um, Python pro projects um, oops no um, Python projects yes uh, and I'm going to go ahead and say create and I'll open it in the current window yeah now I want to I want to have a new Python file created under this so I'm going to create a new Python file and I'm going to just go ahead with the hello world signature uh, program and I'm going to hit okay and yes and all I want to do right now is just print uh, you know um, a hello world and uh, that's all I want to do and uh, so this is my python file um and what i want to do is as as i'm continuously coding i want this to be saved uh, onto my github account at the same time so what i have to do is go to the vcs now when you were cloning you would go to the checkout version control and github so that will allow you to clone when you are pushing your project you have to go to import into version control come over here say that says share project on github 
now when you do this um uh, you you will see this option only when you have properly synchronized your github account with your pycharm if not you will not see this option so make sure that you have tested your connectivity of pycharm with github account properly so i'm going to say share this project and i'm going to wait and i'm going to name the new one as python project so as you can see i do not have any repository by name um python projects uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is um, my first Python project repo. So I'm just going to create this repository and I'm going to click on share. So this is going to share um, whatever files that I have. I do not want any IDEA files. I just want my Python file to be um, committed onto my Git account. So I'm going to push this onto my get account um as you can see over here this is this is reddened at this point of time only because it is trying to push your code um to the github once it is done this is going to be back to normal and it says over here successfully shared project onto github when you click on this you can find your project um you can find your project here yes so, so this is your first commit you can see over here it's a hello world.py and um you can find it right right over here yeah um i think it is open on my internet explorer um okay never mind i'm just going to make a sign in and you can see this repository under my name so i'm gonna go do that quickly gmail.com and password and uh, yeah so when i come over here you can see I've got now three repositories and one is the Python projects that says my first Python project um, repo. So uh, now anytime I, I, I want code um, under the folder of no matter you know how many files that I write uh, all I have to do is go to the VCS and uh, import version control and share that project on github so it will only take few seconds and it will be easy for me to go back to my github um, um you know um for a uh, repo at, at any point of time later on and i can refer back to them as really easy so um thank you so much uh for watching i hope you like this video uh we'll see you on the next video thank you very much